Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is James, and we're continuing our walkthrough of Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, at the end of the last episode, as I was saying my goodbye, we got the call from Amanda that I was expecting, needing our help. Um, to give you an idea on what happened, she basically got caught trying to steal from a jewelry store and we have to go save her. There is a time limit and uh, how much time we have to do this and we are quite a bit away from a car but we'll go ahead and, and accept it and see if we can I mean because we ain't too far from it See if we can get through a car. We got about four and a half minutes to to do to get to her. It really and truly should not take that long. I mean, she ain't too far away from us. Only thing is, us getting a car. Finally, my stamina is up to 60%. Um, I don't believe this has anything to do with the 100% completion of the game but it's part of the game and I like doing it um, this is the first car I saw so we're going to take it not the kind of car we would want but we're about about eight tenths of a mile away from her, so we should get there before the timer hits 2.30, I would think. Unless we crash. I can tell already, I ain't gonna like how this car drives. Um. But when we get up to Amanda, okay, maybe I was wrong. We ain't going to get there before 2.30. But when we get to Amanda, we'll notice that she's going to be in the back of a cop car. Now, we can just hop in the cop car and take off. As you see, they are putting her in. Or we can do what I'm going to do. Blow them away with a sawed off shotgun. And now we get in. And the story of our lives again. We have to lose the cops. Now, as long as we don't, it's like that cop there might want to be turning around. So we're going to cut back up this way here. I want us to be as close to our safe house as we can get, mainly because that's where we are going to be dropping Amanda off at. We lost them. Really didn't take that long. And then we get to start uh, getting prepared for the heist as I am running off the road. But before I do all of that, I'm going to have to go inside and put on a suit. Because Lester will not see me at the beginning of this mission without me being in a suit. Oh, and yeah, thank you. I love her sarcasm. Um.
mission passed, no big nothing. And you see up there where it says triathlon events are now available and it looks like a man running. Like I said, we opened those when we got done with Daddy's Little Girl, who, which was where we ruined both of our kids' lives. Um, the full suit, I normally don't wear the, the black one, so we'll wear the black one this time. And let's go visit Lester. I'm surprised they kept that one here. But it's what we'll use. Get us a waypoint down to where Lester's at. He's at the a garment factory <clears throat> now there's a lot of running around well I can't say running around but there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done in this particular uh, mission so Ooh, I didn't even see you turn. If I did, I would have put it in precise driving mode. Um, I forgot what I was saying. There's a lot of stuff that we got to do in this one. I keep hitting people head on. That, um, will make this video a little bit lengthy as well. Um, but... After this, I should be able to keep them under, keep most of the rest of them under 20. We got a random event back there. I ain't going to worry about it at the present moment. Um, if it pops up again later, we'll take care of it, but it's not really one we have to... Um, worry about because there's no money involved um but let's park the car out here and let's go inside and see what our old buddy luster has for us Okay. They're talking about old times and old guys. There's really no old guys. Everybody has left. Some has found Jesus. Uh, in that little take there, they do mention a guy from Liberty City. I could be wrong, but I think they're talking about the guy from Grand Theft Auto 4. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments below. For those of y'all who actually have listened to all of that. <coughs> now, before we do this, the heist, we got a couple of setups, but I want to go and check up on the... Um, the car dealership a couple more times before we actually before we actually hit it because after we hit the jewelry store that um, 
mission is no longer that uh, random event is no longer available now do we absolutely have to do it no we don't but I want to do it anyways because I'm a moron and I can okay so what we're going to do okay, is <coughs> we got to get pictures of the jewelry store oops Run over that poor girl. Now, the easiest way to do it is to get a picture where you have all three and one picture. What we're going to need is a picture of an air vent, the security camera, and the alarm. Got all three in that picture there. We'll exit the camera mode. And now we gotta come over here and talk to this lady here and see what she has for us. Okay, so they got some expensive jewelry in there. Now we got to go back to the car. And when we get back to the car, um, Lester is going to tell us that we got to find a way onto the roof. Easiest way. Let's just go this way and this way and bam. There's our way to the roof. And I'm going to hush now and let you all hear the conversation. I want to turn up the game recording just a little bit. After your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all after the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? What do you think? OD? Shootout? Maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway? They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. I'm on the roof. All right, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof units. It'll be right above the store. Okay. Now I can turn down my game recording just a little bit and explain to y'all who they were talking about. Um, If you remember all the way back in the first episode, we had three guys... The one that got shot and you saw the blood, that's Brad. Um, hey, I see the vents. Yeah, we're I never going to see Brad. Well, like yeah, we are. But, um... There. But we have Brad. We had Trevor and we had Michael. They are talking about Trevor. We've got our shot of the Angelico unit. Looks good. Okay, that will do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. Crap, huh? I meant to do something before I started this and forgot. Oh, well. Um... But what we are 
And I mean, Trevor is a psychotic, you know what. Um, but we'll meet him again and see exactly what kind of a psychotic, you know what, he is. And probably the next two or three episodes. So that's going to be an interesting story with him. <clears throat> now where we're heading now is to the garment factory to set this whole thing up and that is where we're going to have our so first discussion about money Okay, now as we approach the garment factory again, Lester is a geek when it comes to things like this. He has a board planned out and everything. And you see he's got part of the board posted up and we get to choose exactly how we want to do this and who we're going to use to do it. Okay, now let's listen to what he has to say. There's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by LSPD tactical teams, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the L.S. River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do okay. this? Run into like I the said, there are two ways of smart. doing these these heists. Um, this particular one is loud and smart. Loud, we go straight in the front door, and loud, we uh, smart, we basically um, somewhat poison the place. That's basically the easiest way to do it. Now, how you want to do these or determine on how many um, people you have to use in your crew and how much take they're going to have. Now, if we look at the loud, 
We got Eddie Toe, who's at 14% cut. Kareem Dent, Dins, who is at 8%. Those are the only two uh, drivers we can um, we can hire. So we're going to look at Kareem here. Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. Now, gunman's means yeah, nothing because they're going to both, this both of them are going to die bad. either way. Um, Norm Richards is 7%. Uh, Gustavo Moda is 14%. We'll use Norm Richards because he's obviously the cheapest. Ah, Norm. Came across as a, you know, a bit of an idiot, but could be useful. Hacker. Now, most of the time, office, before I started trying to figure out how to get a lot of money, I used Paige Harris. She's really good. Uh, I've never used Christopher, uh, Christian Phelps before. But this, this is a guy, guy if you Ricky. want um, the 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 all the money you can get, you would want good, but he's uh, Ricky uh, Luckins from Life Invader. Right now, if you add that up, we got a 19% cut coming out of our um, pay going to those three guys. Now let's back out and check the the other way. Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in we're still going to only use the okay. same two drivers, the same two gunmen, now we're to keep quiet. and the same, two, same three uh, hackers. Same 19%. So I normally do it the smart way. I'm gutsy this time. We're going to go the loud way. And, um, <clears throat> use Kareem, Norm, and Ricky. Let's take a chance on him. That look good to you? And. Sure? Okay. Next time now you we see us, we will be doing a high setup. And we're going to be robbing a jewelry store. Pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what? My rep don't count for nothing no more. You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Um, but once again, this has been James saying thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you would. Um, comment and subscribe. And come back and join me next time as we continue playing Grand Theft Auto 5. Y'all have a good one.